from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Who the? Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. What do we do? We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be Drew A freaking mess. <laughs> Help us through. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> Honey. You want to know what regular Wendy looks like with no makeup and her street clothes and the street wig? And this is how, this is how I roll. Yes! This is it. And, and it wasn't intentional. The traffic was... <gasps> Excuse me. President Trump. Help. Help. The traffic was backed up to my mailbox in Jersey. That's how bad traffic was today. Now, you all need to get it together out there. Uh, they, they say men at work, but there's no men working, but you're blocking lanes. People are driving like idiots. People are running out of gas. <laughs> Honey, we left the house at 6.30 in the morning. Our house is only 15 miles from this exact studio. <laughs> Lady up there in the red, you saw me walk in 20 minutes ago, right? <laughs> I saw you saw me, and you were like, there she goes. And I walked in just like this, correct? <laughs> Because I had to choose. Am I going to put on a dress and all that makeup and a, a show wig, or am I going to eat to live? And, and, try, and try, so I had my breakfast and tried to get into my Wendy mode to come out here and entertain you. We're live, you all. You understand. I've never. Suzanne. <laughs> I feel like my outfit, everything is like under nothing. <laughs> American apparel, my Walgreens leggings, you know what, honey, I tell you, and a pair of all stars with my Wendy coat from HSA. Yeah. And that's how I roll. And the boy is in the car, and it took us three hours, and they have off from school today, and he's laughing at me and his father, because, you know, we're on the phone cursing people out, and we're in the traffic cursing people out, and I'm in the passenger seat now crying oh. out of stress, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So it was a good day for Brad Pitt yesterday. Did you see him? Well, first of all, he's been cleared of all those uh, child abuse allegations. And yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I was telling you the other day that he is up for an Oscar as an actor. You know, he has one already as a director or producer or something like that, but not as an actor for the, his new uh, film, Allied, which is one of those World War, War II films. And so I didn't know whether he's going to walk the red carpet or not, because, you know, reporters on the red carpet get nosy. I know, I used to be one. <laughs> Um, you know, asking about the kids and everything but the movie. But no, nope, he walked the red carpet. Remember I was telling you I thought he should talk to two people who are also going through their own thing. Well, Mario Lopez is perpetually nice, and then Nancy O'Dell is going through a divorce. So she's not jumping up to ask anything out of order, because you could flip her own mic back on her. Okay? <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. 
Anyway, um, he stayed on the red carpet longer than usual, even when he was happy and with uh, Jennifer, even when he was happy and he was with um, Angelina. He took selfies with fans. It looks like he's dropped about 25 pounds. He looks really good. And I'm not a Brad Pitt, oh, I think he's hot type of girl. Like, you all swoon for him. Who do I swoon for? Shia, uh, Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> you know? Um, but anyway, so... But he was good, and he, he also took pictures with his pregnant co-star that we all thought that he was having an affair with, and whose baby it might be, but it's not Marion's baby. They took pictures. She was there with the baby bump. Her longtime boyfriend of nine years didn't see him on the red carpet, but clearly these... Now, that's a side part, honey. <laughs> if you squint, doesn't she look a little bit, bit like a skinny Odell? I mean, Adele? Adele? If you squint. See? So anyway, he did interviews, though, and, and apparently nobody asked him about the kids, but he thanked everybody for their support, and then the only big um, speech that he did or whatever was up on stage where you couldn't get at him, and he could control his own microphone and say what he wants. So all in all, Brad, nice way to clean up and get out there. Yeah, that's a good one. Funny how, you know, sometimes, you know, Suzanne, the kids can be so chill mm -hmm. and the parents are the oh, lunatics. Yes, that happens. Right? Mm -hmm. They look at you like you're all crazy. The music uh -huh. is going. Like, you know, I like my hood music in the morning because it, <laughs> it gets me ready for the fight, you know, like Raekwon and Nas and stuff. It gets me ready for the fight mm -hmm. in the talk show war. Yeah! And... <laughs> You know, I save that Madonna and my disco music for when I go home and the day is done and I feel like, woo, day is done. But coming in here, I need to thug it out so the boy... So I'm snapping my neck, screaming at people, cursing. You forget the boy is in the back. He's looking at this. I'm sure laughing at the whole thing. It's like, he's the adult and me and his father were the lunatics. Anyway, so Celine Dion, I'm very, very happy for her. What a lovely woman. Um, you know, I don't, she's never actually been on our show, but she's been here through Skype, right, Norman? So, it, like, uh, probably before I got here, like season one or so, I think. When'd you get here? I got here season two. Oh. <laughs> well, welcome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You realize if I didn't wear this flower ring, there'd be no season nine. This is the one thing that I did have to roll in my office and get my luck charm. Out of everything, forget a skirt and a sensible wig. It's the ring that makes the show. It's my good luck charm. So Celine Dion is 48 years old. You know, she had been with that dear Renee um, f since she was 12 years old. You know, he waited to pounce on her once she was of age, of course. <laughs> Don't look at this as a seedy, nasty relationship. He was just an older man who saw talent in a girl and they eventually fell in love. And I adored their relationship. Allegedly, well, according to Celine, Renee is the only man she's ever been with. And he passed away after a long battle with cancer and they've got their children together. And now um, people are saying that she might have a new guy. And he's convenient because he's her guitarist. And he's got my... Okay, okay. Well, now, now, now look. Okay. So. She's 48. He's in his 30s. Renee had fi fired her old guitarist before he passed away and hired this guy. Um, Kevin. His name is Kevin. <laughs> Um, his name is Kevin, and so he's in his 30s, he lives in Vegas, and they work constantly, so I don't believe she's going to marry him, she probably doesn't want to have babies with him, why at 48, once you've had your kids and you're a widower, do you want to get involved in making a brand new family? Maybe she'll get married again, but you need that instant family where he already has his kids, he's not bothering you about trying to have any, by the way, how is Janet Jackson? She's, she's still she's doing well. Still, I heard she's on uh, bed rest. Uh -huh. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Now I just want to know that she's fine. Like yeah. I, I was tracking that story. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, she spends most of her time, this um, Celine, in Vegas um, at her estate. <laughs> I love that estate. You know what's even fancier than an estate, though? A manor, darling. Yeah. This 
man is a very good distraction. She's got her estate, she's got her three kids, and she's got her young boo thing. Go, girl, go. Yeah. Patty LaBelle. Aunt Patty, she's like everybody's aunt, or no matter what color you are, no matter how old you are, or what. Patty LaBelle makes the music that we all know the words to. Yeah. And she's got such a, such a down home way of keeping it real and keeping you laughing, and she keeps it young and fun. And Patty, you've been talking about a cooking show for years, so I'm hoping that this one is really going to be the drum roll to the show. Yeah. Yes. You know, she's Mariah's um, uh, godmother. And, um, and she always invites like, the girls that she likes and stuff to her house for wine and cooking. I've been invited. I just can't do the commute. I'm busy doing stuff. But you know Patty can throw down. She has the look of somebody who can throw down. Okay? You know, there are some people that just visually look like they can't cook. <laughs> saying anything uh -huh. what I, I just I I'm I, I, I they know I don't cook uh -huh. you don't have to Suzanne you've got him exactly mm -hmm. thank you anyway um, so Patty's getting her own cooking show and she's gonna be um, doing soul food on the heels of that sweet potato pie success plus she's just got that way about her I would definitely watch this show she's gonna have her celebrity friends pass through the kitchen and interview them while she drinks with them because she likes to tip it and fun and 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 give them food and stuff doesn't that sound like a fun show so Patty girl, I don't know when this starts, but I am all in. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, December on the cooking channel. Yep. Just in time for Christmas. Aww. Yeah. Um, speaking of cooking, Patty, you need to bring your girlfriend, um, Gladdy, <laughs> on your show. <laughs> now, look. Gladys looks like she can cook too, right? Well, yeah. now, in the last episode of Gladys's Chicken and Waffles, <laughs> they had failed a second health inspection, something about roaches. <laughs> in the last time, she scored a 44. Now, I don't know what that means in Atlanta when you score a 44. Here in New York, in New Jersey, you have either an A, B, you know, the, the letter thing. I don't know what a 44 is, but she just failed for the third time. More roaches. She's down to a 65. <laughs> you know what you have to do to fail three times? The roaches virtually have to be dancing on the waffle. How do you fail that again? Listen, <laughs> there's not a person in this room or watching this TV who has never experienced roaches or rats. And I don't care how wealthy you are or how clean you think you are. Remember, we saw Queen Madonna in her bathroom and that rat ran across, you know? And I, that was probably a detached house. So that's the only thing about multi-dwelling is that you can be as clean as you want, but they crawl through. Oh, and also, when you, go to, when you go to the grocery store, you better watch it when you use paper bags because the glue, the roaches love glue. Oh, you never knew that? Why? I discovered that when I, when I was a kid. My grandfather, who used to um, fry chicken and also make homemade thick-cut potatoes in Elizabeth, New Jersey on William Street, where I spent a lot of my childhood. So, you know, he's a working man. You know, had a really good, um, you know, life. But he, he really, he was like, Papa, I'm sorry, but look, my grandfather's the type that will blow a snot rocket in a moment. Okay? Go out to his own garden in the back there, pick a tomato off the thing, take the salt outside, not even wash his hands, and continue eating. Those are some good times, but Papa used to um, use the, pe the brown paper bags to um, drain the grease from the fried chicken. Old school stuff, and the french fries. Well, one day I opened up the bag. Turns out, yes, there was a roach party. Why? 
Why? Because the roaches like the glue. So there, you'll look, you learn something new here every day on Wendy. <laughs> to Gladys's son. Don't try to put your mother through this. That's only her name on it. This is up to you, boy. You are really disappointing her. Good luck on your next inspection, and we'll be here to report. Yes. I can't believe this morning. I, ca I can't believe I that we actually made it. I can't believe... Oh, yo. And then, and then... The PA State Resistance is, the traffic is so bad, we are right up the block from the show, and the cop, a lady cop, she must have been new on that block, because when we buzz through there every morning, they see us on two wheels, like, ah! <laughs> We've never been this late, though. Anyway, so she told us we couldn't turn. I don't want to tell you what he buzzed his window down and said to her. But the boy was laughing out loud, and I was like, Let's just take the ticket. We're going to make it. But we we're like, call the cops. We're turning. We turned. <laughs> yup. Call them. We're turning. <laughs> Zach Efron, if you want to play Elvis, it could be a great look. Or it could be disastrous. Hmm. Anyway, Elvis Presley is an upcoming TV biopic. It's going to be 10 episodes. I think that there's a likeness here. I think he can do it. And also, sometimes, you know, I get distracted when a really famous person plays another famous person because you're all into looking at, like, there's Zach as Elvis. Like, maybe it'd be a better idea to have some no-name. Or just make, a, just make auditions, but call Zach in, and then weigh your dollars and cents. Like, whoever does it best but charges the cheapest. <laughs> Look, I, um, I'm into Elvis. Like, the, like, not necessarily the music and all that, but I will watch every episode of this 10-episode series because the Priscilla years, just the hair and makeup alone. <laughs> You know, and, and his eccentricities, Zach said he'll gain weight. Remember, Elvis was quite bloated. Um, this, they have, yeah, I, like, like to me. See, I wouldn't mess this up for a cute coin and an acting role. But this is what you do if you're an actor. And plus, he's young enough to snap back. Anyway, it's going to be filmed at Graceland, so, he, you know, they're getting the thumbs up, um, which means this could either be very watered down and corny, or they can really expose what was going on with Elvis and the colonel and the entire situation. The cameras are going to have all access into Elvis's clothes, his cars, his jets. If you do really well with this, first of all, he hasn't gotten it. He's just throwing it out there, and I'm, I caught his pitch. So now I'm throwing it back, and I'm saying, yes, take that, if they offer it to you. Um, he's got a musical background. He's got a lovely voice. Remember, he was in High School Musical. Yes. Oh. 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 And so recently, he sang Happy Birthday online to our, our co-star, from, uh, what was that movie called that we were in? Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. So we were all co-stars together, and Adam celebrated his birthday. And so listen to Zach's voice as you look at him. Happy birthday to one hell of a sexy. Oh, happy birthday to one hell of a cool Crowd. Oh, yeah! They will catch him and lift their shirts in a second. 
so you are Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Yeah, I'm just partying up for Mardi Gras. Another American institution. Yes. All right, let's get the caller on the line. Did you find out how much we had to pay for Steve Miller yesterday? I think we got by. Hello? Oh, bring it up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Beth in Kentucky, how you doing? It's Wendy and Suzanne. Yeah! Hi, Beth. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Suzanne. Hi! So, Beth, the good news is you're our contestant on Wendy's Giveaway USA. Yeah. Have you been watching your show every day on WBKI? Don't tell yeah. me, Suzanne, because I've never been to Mardi Gras, but me I know neither. what you do when the beads drop. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay? Wow! That's the show. Oh. All right, well, let's find out where you could be going, Suzanne. Where are you going, Beth? Where are you going? Have you ever been yes. to have you ever been, been to uh, Miami? I was long ago. All that's right. where your parents are, isn't it? Yes, that's where they are. You'll probably bump into them at the Ball Harbor if you win. <laughs> cool. But look, let's get the announcer on the phone and or on the go. Thanks to our friends at Liberty Travel, we're flying you and a guest to beautiful Miami, Florida. You'll enjoy a five-day, four-night stay at the Confidant Miami Beach Hotel, where you'll enjoy some of the most spectacular beaches in America. Oh, wow. Beth? Yeah. You've been um, listening closely to our show and watching every day I know, correctly? Yes. All right. That's true. All right. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer, and if you get, guess correctly, you, come on, I don't need any more headaches today. What is going on? Here we go, Beth. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday in Hot Topics, I talked about the real housewives of Orange County. Which housewife did I say was my new friend in my head? 15 seconds and go! Vicki Gundelson. Yeah! Well, if you'd like to be a winner, no, I'm, go I'm going home, okay? <laughs> if, uh, if you'd like to be a winner like Beth and play Wendy's Giveaway USA, just log on to my Facebook page to enter and make sure that you watch our show every day because we might be calling you next. We've got more great show for you, everybody. We're going to go in the Wendy's co uh, Wendy kitchen and cook some deliciousness. Uh, um, Alicia Quarles is coming up with the latest on Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. We'll be right back. is here. She went from thinning to hashtag winning with her new show. And we've got more getaways in our giveaway USA. New York, Miami, LA, will you be the next to go? Tomorrow on a new Wendy. Okay, girl. <laughs> All right, the magazines just hit newsstands and they're filled with all kinds of juicy gossip. So here to break down the hottest cover story is our entertainment journalist friend, Alicia Quarles. Hi, Wendy. Okay. Hey. So, Us Weekly magazine, Kim K is still in, in strife. She's still in strife, so she has not been on social media for more than a month. For a girl that ha has nearly 50 million followers on Twitter, 90 million on Instagram, this is a big deal. But she fired her bodyguard for three years, got new bodyguards, so it's the reinvention of Kim K. Well, and she does get everybody um, uh, like $300,000 per tweet. So when she tells you yep. she likes a product, don't necessarily believe she does. She's there for that coin. Well, she's getting that coin, Wendy, because she made $51 million last year. I know. Luckily for Kim, Lucky though, for she her. sells the the show, the clothing line, the perfume, Kanye, she's still raking it in. But she's still bleeding every day, though, on social media. She, but yeah. she still needs to stay in the house. She, I agree with you. Her life, is, her life will never be the same. I you know, I, I, need, I can only imagine that she'll have flashbacks about the bad guys for the rest of her life. Well, she's reportedly in therapy, so she went to her Kindle, her sister's 21st That's birthday party. But went you know, through a back door, not the front door. She loves the limelight, but yeah, it's going to change everything for Kim. So when do you think she'll be back posting? Because Christmas is coming, and that's a lot of money she could be making by telling you all she likes something. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, yeah, Wendy's right. She'll be back by Christmas. If it's any indication by what they've done in the past, they've already set up the interview with People Magazine. They're going to do the TV special, the Kim K. Tell-All. She'll put her life out there again, but this time a of little course. bit different. 
family. And also, homegirl, do the fake jewelry like everybody else does. You got your real ring, then also wear the fake mock up so when people try to steal from you, they're just getting a, a fake one. You know what? You're saying. I just, I disagree with okay, you. Tell me, Wendy, tell me. I, just, I, I disagree with you because I feel like when you see Kim K, even if she bought a cheap ring off the corner, you would assume it's real. And it's not about them stealing the jewelry because right. jewelry is insurable. It's about them scaring the crap out of it's you. It's the principle. She's a mother. She's a mother. She didn't deserve any of that. Even if she wasn't a mother. I mean, I'm just you know, saying, it, no, it, that's yeah. horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. But, you know, lesson learned. And I'm all about doing the fake with the real. All right, well, yeah, all right, um, OK Magazine, what's going on there? OK, OK Magazine, we got a wedding in store, according to OK, Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton. Oh. So, OK. OK, so OK says they're getting married next year, um, in the spring. It'll be a 400-person wedding in Beverly Hills. Apparently, she wanted a bigger wedding, he wanted a smaller one. This is the in-between. But I hear they're going all out. I like this one. I, so, did, is it? True that they're spending like three million dollars. There's the reports budget? that they're spending three million dollars. But think about this: she was married to Gavin Rosdale. He was married to Miranda Lambert. So they've got to up their game with this wedding. Why? You know, because they already did the big superstar marriages. So this time it's like two mega powers coming together. So mm. apparently she wants all pink roses. Um, I heard there was a champagne river flow. Like do it, do it up. Mm. Who's on the guest list? Adam Levine, of course. Pharrell Williams, um, Katy Perry. So a lot of celebrity friends. Pharrell's wife is pregnant too. Yeah, their first yeah child. and she's really sweet. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what's the food? We I mean, are the shrimp going to be firm? We, the, 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 they're not skipping on the strips. Scripts. It's going to be firm and good and delicious and delectable lobster, right? Is there going to be caviar? I think there's going to be everything. There's I'm bringing caviar, my own spoon. oysters. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I can't. There'll be platinum spoons. Don't worry about that. Well, get the toast points <laughs> and the egg. I don't like to. I like caviar. It's very dec decadent. You don't like toast points? No, honey. If okay. I'm going to eat caviar, I want the whole. Ca I can eat toast every day. Okay, not caviar. Nope, I like it pure, right there, mm. out of the tin. Yeah. Well, you can bring your own spoon. I have the champagne flowing. And exactly. Relax. Okay, so what's going on with my friends at Life and Style okay. magazine, Alicia? Catherine Heigl is pregnant. You remember her? Right. Yes. Yeah. Now, she used to be really mean to everybody, okay. allegedly. Yes, yeah, so she was on Grey's Anatomy, and she quit Grey's Anatomy in 2010. She won an Emmy, and then she took herself out of the Emmy running the next year, saying the writing <coughs> wasn't good enough for her. So Shonda Rhimes said, when people show you who they are, believe them. That my Angela quote. So, but she's pregnant now. She's pregnant now. And a lot of times, pregnancy either does one of two things. It either makes you super, super mean because you're all, all hormonal or super nice. Guess what? She's been super nice. Good apparently. for her. Yeah. So she... She and her husband, Josh Kelly, they have two kids that they adopted, two girls they adopted. This is their first biological child. And she has a TV show called Doubt. And apparently on set, when she has cravings like a cupcake, she buys one for the whole crew. Yeah. So I'm liking this. Making up for mean times. Making up for mean times. <clears throat> we love a second chance. Yeah. Good for you. Alicia, thank you so much for stopping Thanks, by. Linda. The owner of this place called The Crab Shack is going to join me in the Wendy Kitchen for some deliciousness. So keep it here. own the Krabby Shack. It's one of the hottest seafood restu restaurants in Brooklyn. Please welcome to our show for the first time Fifi Bell Clanton and Gwen uh, Woods. Now, which is which? I'm sorry. I'm Fifi. Hi, Fifi. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm stressed out. How are you doing? Hi, Gwen. How you all doing? How are you doing? All right, let's get started. First, tell us about the Krabby Shack. Well, I'm from Philadelphia, and Gwen is father is from the Chesapeake Bay area, so we both grew up eating crabs. And, you know, there was no real good crab in New York City, so we decided let's do our own. You know, the idea behind it was to, you know, open up a small all-things crab restaurant in the heart of Brooklyn. Are you, you know, cancers? No, I'm a Leo, oh. boo. Oh. Scorpio. Scorpio. I know, because I'm a cancer. I like the crab. Okay, so well, what are we cooking today? So we know I that, recognize chickpeas. Well, we know that you're a vegan, so we made a, yeah. a vegan crab cake for you. Is that you. what this is? Yes. All right, talk okay. about how you make it, and I'm just going to um, eat it. Okay. <laughs> So what we have here, we have some garbanzo beans or chickpeas. We're going to mash these. And we have a zucchini grated. And it holds a lot of water, so we're going to squeeze all the water out of there. Mm. And then we're going to add mm. the zucchini. And now we're going to, we add some other things. So here we have some, some, some mustard. You like it? Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I know I'm being judged. <laughs> we have some uh, lemon juice. Obey, scallions, 
Can I get, can you do takeout? Yes, yes we, we do. do. Perfect. And so the key to the, give it the seafood flavor. This is how you flavor. gather dinner. You gather. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Is, is sea, seaweed. See? What? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that that gives the seafood, that, that gives yes, the seafood yes. flavor. It gives you yes. that nice little. From like, seaweed. Yeah. Exactly. A little and nori. So, yes. A little nori for it. And so now we're going to make patties here. Right. We're going to. We have the already pre-made patties, and I'm going to form these into some large, yummy, <laughs> wonderful crab cakes. Mm. And you're going to coat these in some uh, panko breadcrumbs. I can't believe the seaweed. That's what gives us the, the flavor. flavor. Flavor, absolutely. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what did we learn so far today on the show? We learned that glue from the bags makes roaches, <laughs> <laughs> and seaweed gives it the seafood flavor. Yeah. And now okay. that we know that you like it, we might just add this to our menu, Wendy. Wait, this is not already on the menu? No, but it will be now. Yes, it will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, all right, let's move on to the crab legs. Yes. They're giving us the sign. So right now, the you crab legs, we have one of our signature dishes. Mm. And it's the steamed crab with corn and broccoli. So our star is the beer sauce. What? So you add beer. <laughs> now see. You're, we learn a lot here on yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Okay, so Thank you. next thing you're going to do and is then use gonna some What are you doing? <laughs> so we're going to have a half cup of water, a little obey, uh, some bay leaf, some pepper, some lemon juice. Let that bring that to a I'm gonna boil. Eat this during commercial. Bring that, that to a, a boil, one. and then you got to let this cook down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take this stuff tomorrow. Oh, you're going to take that too? <laughs> okay, we're going to cook okay, that down. Okay, you're going to boil that down. Okay. Now tell me why you use beer and not water. Beer gives it that a little special flavor to it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the, there's something. Beer and crab is like peanut butter and jelly. Mmm. Yeah. So they just we, go together. They yes. just go together. So yes. now these are steamed to perfection. Oh. So we're going to add... some crab legs to our beer sauce. Yeah. We're going to swish that around. We got to get it nice uh -oh. and coated. Yummy. I've been through enough. Please, no splashing. <laughs> okay. We, we won't get you, girl. No, this is, uh, are you guys best friends or sorors or something? We're, we're, we're besties. besties. Are you? Yeah. Although she didn't like me when she first met me, and it, now we own businesses You know together. what? It usually works out that way. It's, it's something that you see in somebody that reminds you of yourself. Right. right. So now you own business, and now I understand Denzel comes through. He loves the crab Puffy Jack. and all of them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Denzel, last time Denzel came through, he was serving what? lemonade to our customers. What to eat? He loves the crab legs and the shrimp. Now, is your restaurant um, down home style, or you know, or do we have to act proper? No, down home, real comfortable. My kind of spot. Yeah, absolutely. Ladies, and then, oh, of course, you dress it. I see a lobster claw roll. So this uh, is our lobster roll. So this is lobster. a new addition, our newest addition to the Krabby Shack family. Okay, what took you so long? Well, you know, it, it took some time, and all of a sudden, I was like, oh my god, clops, lobster and roll, lobster roll. Well, lobster I also, and, and though, crab. Um, our customers had was confused. They were like, oh my god, what should I get? Should I get a crab roll or should I get a lobster roll? And it's a little bit of everything in there. It's yeah. just half lobster, so, half crab. And how long have you all been around? Two, Two years. Nice job, girls. Thank you for being here. For more information on all these recipes, or you can just go there, it's the Krabby Shack. Go to wendyshow.com. Ask Wendy is next. Supersize helping of hot topics. There's so much that I really want to say. <laughs> and let's get into a new trendy at Wendy. The hottest products, incredible discounts, a limited time, and only for Wendy watchers. Monday on a new Wendy. <laughs> now through November 23rd, we're celebrating America with Wendy's Giveaway USA. Wendy watchers to see if you know the show. Your first answer is your only answer. Watch every day for your chance to win trips to cities across the country. I want you to win. Enter on my Facebook page now. All right, welcome back. It's time for Ask Wendy. We're just 
this is where we help people. Everybody have a seat except for... Hey! Hey, how hey Wendy, doing? how are you doing? Good, how can I help? Okay, so I walk into a bar. It's in my neighborhood. I sit down to have a glass of wine. And I sit next to this guy and go, Hey, hey, I actually dated this guy less than a year ago. He starts talking to me like he doesn't know me. Where are you from? What do you do? Where do you live? <laughs> He asked me out again. We go out. We have another great first date. Right? Okay. Do I tell him? <laughs> you, know, you know what? You know what? No. <laughs> this is the big joke. You keep going out with him, and you hold out until like spring, and then and then and then finally you say, you know, because if you have a wonderful romance, then that's just a funny joke. Right. That you know you realize we've been out before. <laughs> You know, don't don't tell him. Keep the joke going. That, yeah, I, exactly. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Good luck. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? So I'm Courtney. So I recently moved to New York from Louisiana, right? Uh huh. Okay. So I have a male roommate and I have a female roommate. Well, my male roommate asked me to go out and get some drinks, but then he started getting real <laughs> awkward, right? Started trying to text me and flirt with me and everything else. Why did he have to text you? All he had to do was knock on your door. <laughs> He, he probably know I won't go answer. Like I mean, he, he's real creepy, so it's starting to get uncomfortable, Wendy. What should I do? Okay, first of all, no, because living in New York is right, very, expensive. very expensive. So you do need your roommates. Did they? Did he, was he creepy before you going out for mm. drinks with him? See, I didn't go out for drinks for him because he started getting creepy texting. So I ignored his little text and I said, "Oh, I don't feel like going out tonight." And have you told your other roommate? See, I tried to invite the other roommate out and everything, but he, was, but he, he had a nerve to say no, Wendy. He had a nerve to say, well, I don't want to go out with her trying to, because he won't want one-on-one. Oh. He won't one on one Wendy. Okay, well, here's the deal. Um, <laughs> save your money and be prepared to move out. In the meantime, put a deadbolt on your door. <laughs> You also need to have a conversation with the roommate who's innocent and the one that's guilty. Just to let them know you, that you're not down with that and you forgive mm -hmm. him, even though you don't forgive him. You know? Right. And sleep in flannel pajamas. No, no negligees for you. Okay? We have time for one more quickie. Hey! Hi, How you doing? How you doing? Who are you? I'm Melanie. How tall are you? I'm six one <laughs> without my shirt. Perfect. Out. How can I help you? So I introduced my childhood friend, male friend, to my best friend, and they started hooking up. Damn it. And I realized I have feelings for him, and it's been a couple months since they stopped hooking up. Well, it's too late. I can't ask him out? No. <laughs> how old are you, dear? I'm 25. Yeah. Today. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Oh, wait a minute now. Where's your crown? We wear a crown here. I forgot. It was a surprise. Oh, oh, oh you it's didn't know you were coming me. here? Yeah. Oh, are you having a good time? I'm having a blast. Thank you so much. So here's what you do, dear, and it's not too late to learn. You're only 25, but take it from your old Aunt Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> If you see a man that you like, you need to pounce right away. Don't play that cute coy thing and pass him off and now all of a sudden you have feelings. Nope, that is your, that's your best friend's man. And even if your best friend doesn't like him, mm -hmm. she's already tapped that. You don't want that. Got it. Thank you, Andrew. All right. Good luck. Keep it here. Wendy, what's good is next. I can't do the Wendy show without my co-host. To be a part of my studio audience, get your free tickets by going to wendyshow.com. Dress to impress, and I can't wait to see you. Uh, so it's time for Wendy What's Good, and if you're wondering, because you just turned on your TV, what's good with this look, it's because I was caught in traffic and literally came out here in my entire street gear and no makeup, and, and, but I made it. Yeah. What's good with this? <laughs> um, in the meantime, uh, our first Wendy What's Good, though, comes from Mike in Texas, and he writes, Wendy, what's good? Yesterday during Hot Topics, you mentioned you don't care about a Jackson 5 reunion, and your co-host agreed. <laughs> Unanimously. <laughs> what musical groups would you want to reunite and why? Okay, first of all, I don't need a tour. I need a one night only at a, an intimate venue. I would love Cameo. <laughs> I would love to see Shalimar. Whoa. Yes, but uh, yes, Shalimar. And I would also love to see Atlantic Star Whoa. reunite. With all the original members, although I would not recognize it if they bamboozled me. <laughs> all right, thank you, Mike. All right, our next uh, Wendy What's Good comes from Pamela in South Carolina. And she writes, Wendy, what's good? 
Yesterday you pretended to be a wax figure, or le last week, um, at Madame Tussauds, and you scared all your Wendy watchers. Have you heard about the mannequin? Yes, I've heard about that stupid mannequin challenge. But we like stupid here. So um, she goes, I think it's awesome. Are you up for the challenge? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm up for the challenge. I got my audience involved. Take a look at this. Our last Wendy What's Good comes from Christina in Queens, and she writes, Wendy, what's good? I remember back in the day when your fabulous diva fan would come out after every fashion show. I haven't seen it. We miss it. Do you still have it? Oh, yes. We throw nothing away here at Wendy. <laughs> uh, we spray painted her gold, and here she is. Yeah. So thank you for that. And she still works. John, hit the diva fan. Show.com and we'll be right back. <laughs> Time to play Celebrity said What? It's loud in here, isn't it? A little loud. The building is shaking. <laughs> so what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Amanda and I'm from New Jersey. Purple Park. Yeah. I made it on time. All right. <laughs> well, welcome. Thank All right, you. here's the celebrity quote. All right, I wear sweatpants, but I have to wear them with heels. Who said that? Mariah Carey, Jessica Simpson, or Beyonce? Ooh, that's a tough one. I know. I don't know. think Beyonce. Okay, good. Go I think it's Mariah Carey. No. It's Jessica Simpson, but that was a good guess. We're going to give you a prize anyway. Yay! A $150 gift card to lulu's.com. And we'll be right back. Well, I'm ready to go to the gym. What about you? I want to thank my guests and my co-hosts today. Thank you so much for being here. Funny friend Lisa Lampanelli stops by and I've got you covered with all the latest juicy hot topics. I love you. I adore you for watching today. And I'll see you next time. Nice.